We got Solo, Sean Fantino, a.k.a. Franklin from GTA 5, man. Welcome back, bro. Yeah, what's up, dog? Hey, it's Fantino. If you're going to say it, Fa say it right, bro. <laughs> My family. My bad, man. Hey, Fantino, man. Welcome back. And, and I want to say, too, before we get started, I love how you support my brand. You're in the comment section. Oh, yeah. Um, and that means so much to us, man, because you are a legend, bro. So thank you. I appreciate it, dog. Shit, man. You a legend right now. You, 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 you making a very, very good impact in this, in this like world of the internet, bro, that people, our people can tap in and be tuned in to what's going on and hear people's sides of what's going on and what's not, whether it's good or bad. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's why exactly. I tap in, man. I get jumped on sometimes, but sometimes <laughs> people, you know, they but it's cool. I understand, man. You know, people. Everybody has their opinions, but it's okay, man. You know what I'm saying? They just need to know that, man. I'm just here for us, man. You know, I'm I'm glad I was able to be part of a lot of these people's childhood. You know what I'm saying? So for real. I pat myself on the back for that, dog. Absolutely, man. So I mean, this week the GTA six trailer, the official trailer leaked. Um, and I know it was a hell of a week for you too, man. Yeah. Yeah. GTA six trailer dropped, man. It's like my phone ain't stopped ringing, homie interviews after interviews my emails is just i told my manager man look man uh you got to take over this shit <laughs> so i mean the the trailer leaks you watch it what was the first your first reaction like where were you at when you watched this trailer i was at home actually when i first seen it man you know uh they leaked it the day a day before mm -hmm. and um so i watched it and I mean, it was just like, I mean, I, I, you know, the expectations, I knew it was, because I, I know Rockstar, man. So I know it's going to be better, better quality, because things got mm -hmm. better since, what, 10 PS5, years? PS5, new systems. Yeah, you know, because people, what people don't understand, they say 10 years, say you realistically have to say 13, 14 mm -hmm. years, because we had three years working on this you know what i'm saying yeah. and then it been out for 10 years you know mm -hmm. so i knew technology would be much much more better like they showed the female with the big ass on the car and that shit was really shaking now if you go back to gta 5 it, it it's shake but it move, it just move you know what i'm saying right but so did you kind of already know and you don't have to i know the the you have to sign a, pay, a form did you kind of already know through hearsay or you had no clue? About what? About GTA 6. I mean, we all knew it was coming. I mean. No, I'm talking about the the, the Vice City, the Florida, the the the, I mean, the protagonist. I hear, I hear the same thing y'all hear, bro. And you know, uh, I get so many people with the GTA 6 shit, man. My answer is. When they ask me, am I in it? Do I know about it? The only answer I can honestly give, and I don't want people to take it wrong. I don't like, I don't want the interviewers to take it wrong, but I, all I can say is I don't know, man. I'm with y'all and I'm rocking with y'all, dog. So I don't want people to take it like, you know, ah, oh, he knows something, he ain't saying something. He in there or he not in there. I just don't know, man. If I was in there, you know, I couldn't say nothing. I don't, I just don't want people to take it in the wrong way when I say I don't know. I really don't know, bro. That's all I can really just shoot at, bro. If 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 anything was to happen, bro, you know I couldn't really talk about it, dog. And I can't break this. I can't say something that I don't know. And if I did know, I couldn't say it to mess my bag up. That's what I'm not gonna do. Exactly. I mean, so you watched the trailer. What was one thing in the trailer that stuck out to you? Shit, man. When I mean, of course, you know, when I saw the the female, uh, what was what's her name, Lu Lucia? Lu yeah, Lucia. Yeah, and the dude, it, it tripped me out with that, and I was like, okay, okay, here we go. But when it jumped to the hood, shit, man, you know that Miami, Florida hood, shit, man, the dreads and uh, the the the, the dunks. teeth and the dunks yeah. and the hood, I said, okay, here we go, here we go again. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm happy, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we uh, GTA 5 got a good long run, and we still got, a, what, another year plus? I mean, who knows? Yeah, maybe year plus. Maybe yeah. two years. You know, things come up. But 
So we still, you know, me, Ned, and uh, Steven, well, me and Ned, for sure, we still milking the uh, cow, you know what I'm saying? We still getting out here and getting our last run. We got a, we got a tour coming up, too, um, across the world, really, um, all across the UK, the United States. We finna be on tour starting, um, I want to say, February, starting February. Okay. So um, when I first saw it, though, I was sitting at home, man, just like, wow. Wow, I had to watch it like five, six times just to see what Man. I see. I got people that's that screenshotting this picture and say that go Franklin right there <laughs> with the braids to the back. <laughs> what what what's the tour like? What what's gonna happen at the tour? Is it like a panel? Is it a meet and greet? What type of what type of tour are you talking about? Um, it's a it's a Comic Con. You know, they they we go to Comic Cons and we meet and greet. We uh do Q and A's. We talk to people. Um, it'd be a it'd be a room full of maybe sometime the biggest I've been in is about a thousand people, and uh, we get Q and As. We get people. We sitting at a table, a panel, and we talk to people. But then after that, we go out and they had these tables set up. Not just us, but it'd be a lot of you know people that voice stuff or actors. Like I've been next sitting next to uh, Michael J. Fox. I've been sitting next to to Lou Ferrigno. You know, they be out there with their pictures and selling their autograph. You know, the pictures right. are free. We give the pictures away. If you just came up and say, can I have this picture? Yeah, you can have it. But when you ask for the autograph, then it's a price to it. You know what I'm saying? And it don't be that much. You know, it be. I mean, to us, to me, it's not that much um, to compare to a lot of other people. We be forty dollars, thirty five dollars, fifty dollars an autograph. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing one right now called Streamly. Uh, Streamly.com. If people go to Streamly.com, man, it's in my bio on my social media, man. And um, click on the link. I'm doing one January 22nd. Ned did one for Michael yesterday, and he was on okay. there for eight hours signing autographs. That's how many wow. people bought an autograph at like $40, $50 a pop. So he went through wow. hundreds and hundreds of them. So that's what we're doing, man. That's what it consists of, us coming out, meeting, greet, meeting people that always wanted to meet us. I've I've seen the 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 ups and the downs of people. I've seen people come and just like you know walk up and be like, "What's up, dog? Hey, what's up, nigga? Uh, yo, yee yee ass haircut." They've been dying to say that, but then I've had people come up, "Oh my god," and be shaking and crying mm. and sweating. I've seen it all, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've seen the people that that might not like my character and like the Trevor other character or, Trevor or Michael yeah. and just walk right by me you know what I'm saying but then I've seen them do them like that so exactly you know it is what it is man I take the grain of every salt man with everything that I do bro and I accept it because it comes with the territory this shit is a gift and a curse you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like I told you when I be on your uh your your social media bro and I comment I do it sometimes just to see how people are going to take what I say and exactly. I'm gonna have I have a lot of people say you oh you hating ass and this and that and something and I'll be like man god damn can I voice my opinion without you jumping on me because the crazy part of body shine is I see another dude make the same damn comment I made and it's different and it's okay it's yeah. okay it's cool they laugh at it but as soon as I say it the magnifying glass come out and they yeah. and they attack me Quit attacking me, man. I'm, hey, I'm here for y'all, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to interact with the fans. That's all. A, a lot of times, people just want you to show them, give them your attention to them, because you're somebody. Yes, that's exactly what I, I had to come to my senses because, like I say again, dog, I'm a street nigga. So as soon as you say something to me, I, I attack. I go back. I try to protect. I'm an alpha male, so I'm gonna protect. What I think is mine. That's my that's my feelings on how I felt on something that's in there. And people attack me. I should just learn the game. Is it, man? Let it go. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know these people or nothing. Let it go. But my ignorant ass get in there and be like, "What the fuck you say, nigga? You better watch your motherfucking mouth. You got me fucked up." And and all I and all they do is be like, "Yes, he said yep, something back to me." That's it. They won. And yeah, like like for instance, man. And I want to send a a. a a fucking big apology to uh uh what's her name my pussy pink and my booty hole brown oh sexy red man you posted her a long time ago when she first was coming out and i was like man trash that shit don't nobody want to hear that shit <laughs> fuck want to hear that 
And I got a lot of likes and people were saying, yeah, yeah, get that shit out of here. And look what happened, man. So my apologies, you know. Out of here. Hey, bro, on another planet with it, bro. And I'm and I'm happy. I'm, uh, now I'm happy that, hey, I mean, I, I'm not with the music. I don't care nothing about that kind of music. But as a, a black woman that's doing successful things and maybe she could take care of her family, her, her siblings, her mother. It, it's a game changer. And that's what we mm -hmm. all want to do, man. I love to see people that, that do anything. I don't care what it is. As long as they do something, you using it to change your family's life. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So yep. I'm happy for her, man. And my apologies. Uh, what's her name again? Sexy Red. Sexy hey, Red, my, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Your booty hole brown and your pussy pink. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, so I, I want your, your, you, you know, you to be keep it one hundred, like you always do. This, this, six, this GTA Six trailer is it bittersweet because it's like a chapter's closing. Yeah, it feels like it feels like you don't like, want to be forgotten about. Something yeah. new is coming out. It's advanced. It's a newer version. Yeah, I feel I feel that way, but at some time I also feel. It's, it's going to be a gift to us also, you know what I'm saying? Because we just seeing trailers, you know what I'm saying? And um, when it finally hit, you know, like like San Andreas, I get people mm. come to me, bro, saying that it's still their favorite all-time game. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Even though our game, number five, broke records and records. is the most grossing thing in entertainment right now as of we speak, but, hey, you know, six is going to... Trump that. I already know it is. But um, it's a bittersweet, but then it's a, I don't worry about it because I'm still, like I said in your last interview, man, it's a blessing to be, you know, um, immortalized. You know what I'm saying? No matter what happens. I don't care if seven come out, eight come out, and I might not be here. It might be an old man or dead and gone. I don't know. But my name, my likeness, and what my work is still going to be here to be talked about. Like my, Absolutely. like my cousin Melee, man. I would love to get you to interview him, bro. He's he. Where where is he at? Oh man? my god, man! I gotta chop it over with him. Melee just so fucking uh. <laughs> Melee is with he's with the bullshit, man. He's still with that shit. You know what I'm saying? So when I try to holler at him, like, hey, cuz, man, you gotta shake that shit and get your money. It's so much money out here for you right now. When I go across the world. They be coming up like, where's your cousin? Where's CJ? And blah, I be like, damn, this dude can make fucking 20, 20, 30,000 every show easily. But Melee be like, man, fuck that shit, cuz nigga, I don't, man, I don't care about that shit. You know, he's one of them type. But I'm going to grab his ass in the headlock and, and make his ass do, break the mold by getting on your show with you, bro. Get an interview with you. I'm going to get I, that. I appreciate that because I remember one time y'all were on IG Live and he was heated, man. He was so mad at Rockstar, you were trying to break down the game to him and he wasn't trying to hear that. He was like, F that, cuz. Sometimes you just got to say, you know, let me move forward. Let me go on and just keep walking this railroad, man, and get to this freedom of financially, you know, where you can just breathe and you can say, okay, I feel better. I'm getting something out of what I did, which is, he did that, what? 20 some years ago yeah and you know and i was so happy when he got that shit bro it just it, it was crazy when i found out he was he was doing it i knew he was doing it but i didn't i didn't know to the magnitude of how deep he was in it because he was under nda too he couldn't say that much even you know? to family that's my that's my cousin no, I'm saying like so because no, you, you you're in the NDA as well, so you can't even tell your wife certain things. Uh, well, I could I could talk to my wife, but certain things I can't tell her. Like, but she see everything. She print out all my scripts and my contracts, and she know what I'm doing, everything. But my kids, I don't run my mind. I don't say nothing. They think mm, they think yeah. dad dad be gone to New York working for three weeks straight. For, with music or just doing something, you know, constructive, staying out of trouble. So I can't tell them because they mouth, they don't have zippers. You know, they they mm. shit just they run their mouth. So yeah, you can't tell nobody, man. Can't tell nobody. But as bad as you want to, <laughs> as bad as you want to, man. I'm talking about even your tightest homeboy. You know how you would be like, nigga. I know you're gonna keep this shit solid, right? You gonna nigga. Nobody can't know this, homie. You gonna fuck my bag up, dog. You know what I'm saying? You would be like that. But then at the back of your self-conscious, this, this motherfucker got a woman. And 
pillow talking. And then she run her mouth. And then it start running and running and running. Then it get back to me, man. You, man, come on, dog. And I start getting hit by the company like, hey, man, you out here, I can't. So I don't even tell my best friend, my my kids, my son, my daughter, nobody, bro. And my wife know to shut her damn mouth. Me and her got an NDA with each other. Oh, word? Yeah, me and her like, hey, you tell I'm divorcing your ass. <laughs> wow. Nah, 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 your, nah, your it ain't that serious. Huh? Cause that could put your bag in jeopardy. Yeah, but it ain't that serious, man. I put all this shit to the side for my wife, man. I, I, you, you, y'all can have all this shit back, cause I, that's that's my that's my everything, man. I wouldn't mm-hmm. even be alive if it weren't for this lady. So, I'm just joking with that, man. If she wants to tell somebody I fuck my bag up, <laughs> she can, she the only one could do that, bro. Right. The only one, and it wouldn't be a problem. I stand behind her with it, you know. Yeah, she did it. Now what, motherfuckers? But. She got my back though. She 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 want that that person. She want that nice car. She I gotta pay that note. She. <laughs> so so when CJ was doing San Andreas, you didn't really know how big it was at the time. Nah, I didn't, bro. You gotta think that was man, that was way back, bro. That was, was like 21, 22 years ago. Yeah, that was in the fucking like nineties, bro. You know what I'm saying and. I mean, come on, video games, man. I, at that time, I, I was into video games, but man, I was into my bag also too, dog. I was in them streets, homie. A video game was the last fucking thing I was thinking about. You know what I mean? So, I, it, it, we didn't. A lot of us didn't think like that. But the other, see, that's that's where it come back to um, the the others. They supported more than us. We play it. We buy it, we play it like a motherfucker. We spend our money, but we don't get into who is this person. How can I find out who this person is? Who is Sean Fontino? Who is the character of Franklin? They don't Google that. They don't say who voiced Franklin and be like, oh shit, that's this dude. Oh, he was in the wash. Oh shit, he was rapping at one time. Oh, he a real street dude. We don't do that. We just Say fuck it. I know who Franklin is. I love him. Like like today, bro. I went to uh to the to the store to get some shoes, man, and uh went inside and nobody knew nothing until I opened my mouth and I said, Yeah, let me get a size 13, man, and blah. And I kept seeing the manager kept staring at me. So I was like, I was like, what's up, dog? And he was like, dude, did anybody ever tell you you sound like Franklin? And I was like, I thought he was bullshitting. And I was like, come on, homie. He was like, no, no, you do sound like it, man. I said, no, nah, boys, Franklin, man. He was like, I knew it. He went in the back, came out about three, four of them. Hey, all my shit that I got out of there, bro, I bullshit you not, bro. It was that employee discount, half wow. off, uh, everything. I took pictures. But I get that a lot, though, dog. I get it so much. And all it takes is you to just one person to recognize you. The rest and of the everybody. mall, the, the whole mall might not know who you are. But once you take a picture with somebody and they and they like, can I get one? Can I get another one? And then the words start. People start asking, who is he? Who, who the fuck? He ain't LeBron James because we know what he look like. He ain't Snoop Dogg. He ain't this person. You know what I'm saying? But when they say that's the dude that did Grand Theft Auto Five, frankly, man, a line be out there like, can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? But. I enjoy it, man. I don't turn nobody down. I shake hands. I hug people. I take pictures because, man, shit, I'm a nigga come from the hood, so I soak this shit up and be happy, homie. I be happy. Absolutely. I'm not one of them that be like, nah, I don't do that shit. You know, I don't I don't get into that, bro. Come on. Everybody come. Let's all get a big, big family picture, you know? Right. So when you when you initially, I guess, signed the contract with Rockstar, did they give you enough room? to negotiate and we don't got to talk no numbers but do can you be like uh that's kind of i want it. nah can we go a little bit up one or two million no nah, you don't, you don't you get don't, no you, room you don't now nah, you don't do that in the beginning you couldn't i couldn't do that in the beginning because you know you 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 are nobody so you just really because they can pick anybody so when you start trying to say nah i ain't doing that shit i want i want i want another this or another number added on to this They'll say, okay, you know, we, we really appreciate your services, but we had a number two and a number three waiting. So carry on. Nice meeting you. So at some point you have to take advantage of your shit when you get it and the blessing come to your face. You have to grab it 
and then you prove yourself and then you go and say, now I want to renegotiate because now you got me and I've been working and everything. And you see how good I'm working like. But they always had a plan that we going to take care of you. Don't worry about that. Just come in, work hard, do what you do. We got you. And that's how Rockstar is, man. Rockstar, they, they took they took care of me, homie. That's all I got to say. I don't talk numbers. I don't get into that with nobody because it's my personal shit. And um, just know the motherfucking game. So GTA 5 did a billion dollars in like a day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? In sales. And I don't know how it's it's eight or nine billion right now to this day with the online shit and all that. I'm I'm good, bro. You know, we don't get um, residuals because that's what that they just that's that has nothing to do with Rockstar, though. That has something to do with the union that that they don't, you know, allow video game actors to get uh, residuals, which I think is bullshit. They should at some point because you're using our real likeness, our persona, our everything. So I think they should. But like I said, again, you know, uh, Rockstar, they take care of me, man. I'm a I'm 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 a honorary family member of Rockstar. Like I can get on the phone with people and say, hey, um, happy Father's Day. Happy Mother's Day. How y'all doing? Happy birthday. And we good morning to each other. So I'm. I'm good, man. I'm real good. Was that why CJ was kind of upset? Because he felt like Rockstar forgot about him, kind of. No, he he. I think I think my cousin, man. He 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 he. At some point, man. You know, the mistakes of uh, relationship wise that he went into this deal based off of relationships, and after you know we all will accept anything in the beginning and be like, yeah, man, I'm happy I did this, I made this, and I'm cool. But when something surpasses what your wildest dreams could think it would do and monetize so big, you feel like run that, but you gotta look at your contracts. You have mm -hmm. to pay attention to what you sign. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I have I have long talks with him and I think that, I think he, he knows, but he has his mindset on what he, want to believe and I can't change that I'm gonna ride with Melee no matter what it is that's my family I'm gonna ride with him so I'm not gonna ride against him for Rockstar that's what I'm not gonna do but I will ride with him and I will have my size with Rockstar also because I know them that they fair and they cool you know what I'm saying I don't know about the past actors and all of that stuff I can't speak on them I can't I don't know none of them guys but this is my family member so I try to tell him man come on bro we can, we can mend this and fix this and it can be cool. And I think I can get him. I just got to chop it up with him, man. Like I said, I want to get him to where he can come top it up with you. And maybe he can start doing more interviews and get out here. Yeah. And I can, and I he can definitely get him. needs to. Yeah. And I can get him out here, man, because he got tons of fans out here. Millions of fans. <sighs> millions of them, dog. Yeah. Uh, now, a lot of fans are tweeting. They're putting the trailer together. They believe that because in GTA 5, Trevor died, Michael died, but you didn't die. Mm -hmm. They feel like there is a possibility that you will appear in GTA 6 because in GTA 5, you didn't die. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you were crazy. I don't know anything, bro. I feel what y'all saying, though. Hey, I feel it, too. Like, shit, man, it wasn't an option for Franklin. It was A, B, or C. It wasn't no D. Wasn't mm. no E or wasn't no F. You know, so. so and then and then a lot of fans are putting together too. You took you posted a picture on Instagram around water, around like the skyline with the yeah. sunset, looking yeah. like a real Miami Vice, you know, Vicey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you know, fans, you know, they're speculating. They're putting yeah, things yeah. together. And I and I did that purposely, you know, to have fun with the fans because I have the right to do that, to have a little fun. To be honest, that character is not even Franklin because it got mm. the back of him and a hoodie on. That's I just saw that and I just said, let me post it because right now, <laughs> hey, <laughs> the fans, the fans out here, man, the world is like, and I and I and I love them, man, that they want to see. 
Franklin or Michael or Trevor or any of us in this new um, game coming out, man. And I, I love it. I mean, I want to see everybody, too, in there, but I just don't know, bro. It's like I just have fun with my social media, man. I don't mean to to to, to rattle no feathers or stir up no pots and shit, man. I'm just having fun with it right now, man, because, you know, it's just that time. Who wouldn't have fun with it? You know, right. I interact with people, man. So it is what it is, man. You know, I did the uh, the contract with Dr. Dre. Mm. And, um, you know, that was that was a Dr. Dre really online pack, but it was it's featuring Franklin and Lamar. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So, yep. And that shit came out nice to me. To me, I think we did a damn good job with it. You know what I'm saying? So um, I just enjoy all this shit, man, that I'm working, dog. I just soak it in and and just provide for my family, man. That's it. How big is the development team? I mean, do do the voice actors, are, are y'all allowed in the process? And are you able to tell them, uh, you know, tweak that or tweak this? Like, are you involved in that? Or is it just you do your script and you go about your way? What do you mean? Like from when we were shooting five? Yeah. But yeah. And just about like the development, the graphics, you know. Oh, no, nah, we, we don't. We we have we have. That's that's all rock star, bro. That's how good they is, man. They Damn. they do what they do, bro. But they do what what Rockstar did do was they gave me and Slink, um, they gave us two more leeway to revise the script because you know me and Slink, man, we two dudes from you know from where everybody else from. You know we from the streets, and um, we can't read a script that 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 they're writing for us and read it like and act it like they wrote it so we have to change all that shit up because if you want me to be franklin from the hood then you gotta let me be solo then you gotta let me be sean you gotta let me be who i am because i don't know how to act i can only be the real person i am you know what i'm saying like in the movie the wash when i was in the movie the wash and i was playing that kidnapper dj Pooh was just like be you you ain't gotta act just fucking be you. So it was easy for me to say, hey, nigga, hang the phone up right quick. Put them on hold. Do your mama got call ID, nigga? No, why? Hang the fucking phone up. Hang it up now. You know, I was just being me. It, it, it wasn't the acting. So when Rockstar let me just be me and pour into Franklin and just let me do what I had to do. They wrote the script, great writers and shit, but they let me revise some shit or say it the way I would say it. Then me and Slink ran with that shit, man. We start having fun. We start hitting them with the pig Latin words and shit. Like that scene where he was getting out the van after we did some crazy shit and Slink. And I was like, all right, homie, you better be careful, nigga. That nigga was like, nigga, I could take care of my sizzle. Hmm. And I and I I just instantly came back. No, the fuck you kids ain't. Because it's just how we talk right. as black folks. We just talk that way. And we thought we fucked up, man. We was like, like, oh shit. But the director was like, cut. That's a take. Take that shit. And I was like, damn. So after that, I knew we we had room to just be us. So once I start, was able to be us and have fun with it, bro, and be two N-I-G-G-A's up in this video game, bro. Man, that shit went crazy, bro. We probably said a million motherfucking niggas, nigga, nigga this, my nigga, 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 nigga. And they took out probably out of a million of them, they probably took out probably 900,000 of them. <laughs> 900 and probably 75,000 of them, bro. But that's what it was. Because we was cousins, you know, because we both... Uh, ex crips from um you know the streets and shit so we start cousin and getting carried away and they was catching that they was letting us do it but they was like when we go back and do the voiceovers to pick up and clean up stuff they was take that out you can't say that because it's not fair to the bloods you know mm. we just got an all crip we can't have an all crip game gta 5 can't be just all crip gang so exactly we can't do that so i was like shit well let the let the let grove street uh, say cuz and let the ballers say blood shit it is what, what it is but they was like no nah, we're gonna stare away from the gang de uh, demographics and shit so we have fun with it though man how does rockstar keep 
everything so quiet. Bro. The most anticipated game, everybody wants to know, and you hear nothing. Bro. Is that like, is that spoke on in meetings? Even outside of the NDAs, are they making sure that nothing is said? Hey, bro, it's like when we were filming Five, after about a year, we found out it was six. That's how tight they was, bro. It took a whole year of us filming. I thought I was filming a video game called Paradise. That's what I was told, Paradise. I never knew it was fucking GTA for a whole fucking year, bro. No I mean, idea. Probably, probably a little more than a year until the leaks start coming out. And I was like, what the fuck? Hey, telling the other actors, hey, man. And we start in the room, in the actor's room. This GTA 5, this GTA 5. So then now, hey, bro, I, I bullshit you not, bro. When we found out it was GTA 5, everybody fucking just lit up. We just start acting our asses off like, like, like ready and action. Yeah, motherfucker. So what's up now? We, we, what? we was like moving fast. We was on point. It just it just lit a light up in us when we found out. So Rockstar, man, they great at keeping secrets, bro. I always say this, that they move in stealth. You know, stealth is like when mm -hmm. you look at um, an army movie and it's a fucking plane come over the top of you. You don't even hear it. That motherfucker just sitting there, a jet, and it's quiet and it's black and you don't know it. That's how they move, man. Them motherfuckers move so quiet. And then they make noise when they want to make noise. And they let us make noise when they think it's good for us to make noise to benefit the game. Because you got to remember, bro, they invest in a lot of fucking money in this game. And they can't just let us fuck it up. We can't. And I'm not here to fuck it up. Like, people asking a whole bunch about six. I don't know. I couldn't fuck it up if I wanted to fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? So When the, when the footage leaked online, I remember as a teenager from, like, London... Yeah. And it leaked online of Lucia wearing the pink shirt. You got Jason. It was all these videos going online. What was that like? Was that were they devastated? You know, because that was I'm, I'm hearing that was nine million dollars worth of damage. I don't I don't know. It could have been, bro. I to me, honestly, my opinion, bro. I don't get into the damages or what how upset they was and all this. Um. To show you how much I know, I just thought it was bullshit. I didn't believe. It. I said, oh, that shit ain't true. That's some bullshit. That shit fake. But when I found out it was real, I was like, God damn. Somebody really leaked? Shit. Fuck. But I know Rockstar, bro. They going to get on top of it. They is a, they a powerful ass company, man. They like men in black. That place where you, that what they call that place where all the men in black people come to. Mm. What that? Uh. What? What is that place? That uh, uh, fucking... uh, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I know what you're talking where, about. Where Will Smith and everybody meet up yeah. at the, the fucking blah, 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 wherever it is. The who? The headquarters. The headquarters, whatever yeah. the name of the shit. It's a name for it, but they like that, bro. They going to get to the bottom of it and they going to find out because, that, like I say again, man, it's, it's, it's not just they making a game, but it's a fucking investment. They spending a lot of goddamn money, bro. And they got to try to protect this like any of us would. You know what I'm saying? You want to protect your shit and they want to protect their stuff. So I respect it. So when I found that out, I didn't believe it at first until I got validated that this really was a real leak. And a young kid did it. I was like, my, me in my head, I was like, <laughs> they should go find this kid and hire this motherfucker. <laughs> real like, talk. honestly. Real talk, bro. That's how I felt. Uh, I got a few more for you. Uh, the Joker. It's a lot of people coming out for Rockstar right now because they seen the trailer and they feel like uh, Rockstar stole their likeness. You know, we got to have a talk. Uh, you know, the Joker, the the guy that had all the the face tattoos in the trailer, he came out that. speaking. I saw that. I saw the dude with the dreadlocks and the teeth. The uh -huh. black dude. The um, black girl. Yeah, the black girl. It's a few more things, but um. Hey man, they they have the right to feel the way they want to feel, you know what I'm saying? But it's it's also it's a it's a whole bunch of other motherfuckers with tattoos on their face look like that in Miami and all that shit. So get in line. That's how I look at it. Just get in line. Dude with the dreadlocks, man, it's a 
some million of them niggas out there. <laughs> shit, shit, just just go out there and walk around. You're gonna be like, damn, damn. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, don't I don't want to bust nobody bubbles or nothing, but they had a right to feel the way they want to feel. You know, I think Rockstar is pretty sharp. They they smart on knowing what they doing. They not here to to ruin nothing and mess their bag up or mess their franchise up, bro. So. Now, I'm pretty playing it safe. If I had to bet my money that Rockstar is covered and they know what they're doing, bro, I bet my whole life savings on it. Yeah. Uh, now, Charleston White, somebody that I interview frequently, um, Elon Musk spoke out about the game, saying that um, the game isn't good for society because people, especially in this in the social media era, people get stuck in the game and then think it's okay to do it in real life. You got kids playing it. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts on the negative side of Grand Theft Auto? The things you can do inside the game. Well, I can only speak for five. Um, like I like I say in all the interviews, man, it 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 don't deplete, you know, put out only negative shit, man. And it's crazy people would say that, man. Like I had like I had a lady that came to me and started talking about um, um, the bad and the worst stuff of GTA Five, like. Kids see this and kids play this and y'all and they teaching nothing and promoting nothing but shooting people and and running from the police and this and that. And I said, ma'am, it's it's a few answers I can give you. I'm not here to argue with you. I'm not here to debate with you. I'm just an actor of a video game, an animated video game. You know what I'm saying? It's not real. It's fake. It's all, you know, metaverse type shit. I said, but let me explain to you, ma'am. I said, for number one, Grand Theft Auto V had four matured audience only. If your kid got it, then that's that's something you got to deal with. Don't don't jump on us about it. But then also, I know kids, parents, they can go out and watch the worst shit that Arnold Schwarzenegger do in in the Terminator. Shoot and kill every motherfucking body, cut heads off with this aluminum man and stick his head through people's heads and snatch their hearts out and kill the whole police force. And and Sarah Connor go and kill every goddamn body. And it's y'all OK with that. Then a video game come out that's super fake and super just animated. It, it's it's it's. It's just a video game, man. And it's not the first video game that does shooting. You have Call of, Call of Duty. Um, you name it. Every video game has some yeah. sort of violence in it. Mm -hmm. But I think they were just picking that game because sometimes, you know, they giving, you know, us and making it look like we just attacking the police or mm -hmm. the kids. They don't want to teach the kids that, man. It's you know, way more than that. The game yeah. is way more than that. Yeah, it's way more than that, man. If they really look at some of the shit, it's just entertainment. It's just entertainment. It's fun. You don't you don't have to kill in 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 Grand Theft Auto video games. You don't have to ride around and kill nobody, man. You can go and enjoy the 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 cutscenes, and you can just yep, ride around. It. Yeah, ride around and learn the map, and drive around and go have fun. You don't have to get in the game and go violent. That's just an alter ego that some people have. Like I don't do this in real life, so I can have fun with this in a video game. That's what video games are for. When I play Call of Duty. And I'll be on there smacking shit, shooting motherfuckers dead in the hmm. head, killing people, getting 40 kills and and going crazy, bro. It's just an alter ego that I can be this person or I can camp in the bushes and snipe motherfuckers and snipe them. It's just something to have fun with. I'm not trying to go live this in real life. I'm definitely right. not, bro. I don't want to kill no fucking body, man. So mm -hmm. people had people had a right to think what they want to think. But at the end of the day, man. Video games are going to be made whether Rockstar make them, whether who else make them, you know. So it is what it is. I also seen that you were starting uh, your YouTube channel. I was really happy about that. Yeah, I finally wanted to start a YouTube channel, man. They've been getting on me about it. And I'm not a real, uh, I try to stay really away from all of this stuff. But then when I start doing Twitch, you know, I started my own server called uh, Franklin's World. And Rockstar gave me the permission to use Franklin in my own um, server world, my own role play world. You know, I saw T Grizzly and all these people doing it and making money and having a fun lot of with money that shit, getting papered up, bro. So I was like, hey, man, I want to do it. But can I use Franklin? And so they had to go to the table and they come back and say, yeah, you can use it. And we support it. 
we gonna that's let dope. you use Frank. That's dope. That's so, dope. I yeah, like that. So I did it, man. And then now, you know, I'm, I've been streaming it on uh, Twitch and it been getting great reviews. But then we had to shut it down because I had a developer that he was a little different. He was a strange dude. I don't know what hmm. he what he categorized himself as a he or a she. I don't know. But he was different and he was acting wild and being mean and just <laughs> just a dictator. So I had to get rid of him and terminate our deal with each other, but upon terminating it, he um, sabotaged my server because I trusted this guy. I let him build everything because I don't know this world. I had no knowledge of it. I just spent the money and said, man, I trust you. Build this for me. So when I terminated him, instead of him handing everything over to us and let us move on so you know we can keep on doing role playing, he shut down everything, killed, deleted, got mad, cussed me out, called me all kind of names. So, which it turned out to be a blessing because I end up keeping a guy. His name is Waters, man. Good young kid, man. He going to be something one day too, man. Um, he took over and I'm putting him in charge. And we got this developer from Yo Way. I think he's from Dallas or something. Okay. And um, he's a real good dude, man. He know what he's doing to the point that he said, man, that last dude you had, he wasn't doing nothing but cutting and pacing. I'm going to do some real development to your shit. You're you going to notice a night and day type of server so we took it from franklin's world rp to franklin's world 5m now okay. so i just said you know i want to take my talents to youtube so i told um told ned man i need to and a couple of people i need to get my numbers up man what i gotta do man so i started it and i'm up to about five thousand six thousand already but i need to get up in them hundred thousands like y'all man so everybody trying to help me and support me and push it out there so I'll get there soon, man, and I'm going to start putting more content up. I got to start getting into putting more content. You know, I'm building cars and all kind of shit, so I need to start filming that and having fun with it. I'm learning. I'm in a learning process, bro. This man, is- I think a lot of people, YouTube is, it's a lot of money being made on YouTube. Like, I'm a, I'm a witness, uh, but man, like, doing day-to-day vlogs, like you said, cars, getting builds yeah. and customizations and even if you sitting down eating breakfast and t- t- I don't, whatever you do, like you are a public figure, people are, will buy into it if you stay consistent, man. And I think that's something that you should do, bro. Yeah. Because Franklin ain't going nowhere. The character Franklin, that ain't yeah. you, Sean Franklin, is not going nowhere. But you yeah. have to be consistent. Yeah, yeah. I got to. I got to just learn how to get a consistency going and getting on there once a day doing something. Doing whatever. If I'm just walking around the house cooking and doing something, just talking to the people doing it. So um, we reset and I got a guy coming over tomorrow, actually early to come set up everything so I can focus now putting everything towards YouTube instead of Twitch. Because Twitch is kind of hard, man. Twitch is Twitch is hard, Twitch bro. Is it tough. can get discouraging. It's Yeah. And it make me just want to quit. You know, I, YouTube I is easy, bro, because it's yeah. right there. If they type in like. I can type in GTA 6 now and GTA 5 stuff will still pop up. Yeah, yeah. Like the search engine's not, you don't have to dig too deep to just roll on, roll up on anything. Yeah. So. And your subscribers, it's much, like, seem like much easier to get with YouTube than it is with Twitch. It's like you mm-hmm. damn near got to do some crazy, like I got to go and play with a gun, put it to my head and on Twitch and be like, I kill myself and go pow over the fucking top of my head, spin the barrel and be like, I don't shoot myself in the mouth. It seemed like they want you to just do more than what you are giving them. But on YouTube, man, you could just get on there and give content. People just want to just see you. They just want to talk to you. So yeah, I'm taking my talents to YouTube. Any help you can give me or any support you can give me. Oh, bro, definitely. I definitely uh, appreciate it, man. And um, yeah, that's that's where I, that's I'm taking it over there, bro. So we're gonna talk on we're gonna talk about helping with helping me with that off the off the record and stuff. Absolutely. Look, before we get out of here, are you any movies? Are you are you getting in any auditions, any movies for the next few, you know, next 2024, 25? Yeah, I got some stuff lined up, man. I know for sure. Um uh, I don't know if I could talk too much about it, but DJ Pooh, um, who directed and wrote the first uh, The Wash that we did mm-hmm. with me, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, and all of us. He's doing a TV series with it now. And he's okay. and he's got that picked up and he's got approval to move forward with it. So we're going to turn that into a TV series. So uh, Face and, and Slim is coming back. Um, I, wow. I'm not 100%. I think uh, Snoop and, 
and Dre and some of the cast members are coming back to it. So and it's going to it's going to open up the door for all new actors and actresses, more actors to come in. And because it's a series, a TV series, it's going to turn into a series where more people can come in and it can carry on and it won't just be about us, you know, like that. So I, we got that in the in the work. So we just waiting on Pooh to finish up what he's doing because he's a hard, that's a hard working man right there, dog. Matter of fact, I just lined him up, got him on the phone with uh, what's the dude out there uh, from Houston? Uh, uh, trade, trade, trade the trade the truth. Yeah, yeah, trade the truth. Yeah, man, we had a long about an hour conversation, all three of us on on the phone together and shit. So I linked them two up. They doing some business and stuff. So. You give me the uh well let me know and give me the green light on that because that's 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 like say cheese content announcing that the wash is coming to, to TV yeah hell that's, yes. that's that's say cheese content so I guess when it gets approved or when it gets the green light man let me know because uh, that's that's some good content no I'm gonna line you up with these people man like I definitely would love to get Pooh on here bro yeah def- only thing about Pooh is you gotta take the cameras and shit to him because he's so busy oh yeah. You got to pull up to his studio and set it up and then you can get a good interview out of him like that, bro. So it, and he helped you get on GTA 5, right? Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't be in anything in entertainment without this guy, man. Wow. Anything, movies, music, GTA, anything entertainment related, bro. Like I always say, I give all a lot of praises to God, but I give the support from God to him, bro, because he always keep me in mind and he always called me and 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 put me in positions. All I got to do is come there and do my job and I land the roles, you know, and I wouldn't know nothing about GTA. I wouldn't know nothing about the watch. I wouldn't know not too much about music if it wasn't for him. Right, man. Appreciate the interview. I know it's been a crazy week. It's been a crazy month. What do you have to say to the fans before we get out of here? Man, just um, to the fans of Say Cheese, man, it's a lot of us. It's a lot of us, man. Please, man, support your boy, man. Support me, dog. You know, right now I, I have a lot of support from people, but I want more support from my people, man, because I do this for my people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do it for others, too, man. I don't, I don't want nobody to take it wrong like, oh, he's acting racist or saying some racist shit. No, I ain't saying that. I just need more of my people to know more about me, you know, get in tune with me. Don't just look at me as all oh, this nigga just on here talking. Nah, bro, I, I'm doing something that's that that y'all can really look up and say, shit, he did some legendary shit, man. And, and, and you and you got a crazy story, too. Yeah. Like your yeah. upbringing is crazy. Yeah. And it can help some people, man. You know, uh, if they read the book, I got the book still out, you know, Game Changer is still on Amazon, still selling good for me, man. And uh, I get a lot of great feedback on that on that book, man, because, you know, a lot of us, are, um, you got a lot of kids out here that contemplates the shit that I went through, suicidal thoughts and giving up, man. And I've been through it and I know what that shit feel like. You know, it's a disease. That shit is a disease, man. That, that you can claim you the strongest nigga in the world or the strongest motherfucker and you will fight somebody, you will hurt somebody or shit. But at the point, man, you can fall down so far and lose so much that you'll be willing to give up with breathing, with life. And I've been there, bro. And that's some weak shit. I never contemplate that shit again. I think I conquered that disease. You know what I'm saying? I think I got over that disease. I moved past that because I gave up. With all the tough shit I've been through in life, bro, I was I was surrendering to that that devil right here. You know, you got this person talking to you and you got this person. Give up. Just give up. And I was listening. My head was leaning more to him like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I damn near did it, bro. I damn near tapped out, bro. I damn near was finna be selfish to my wife and my kids and lead them here by themselves to deal with life, which would have been tough. You know what I'm saying? Somebody else Mm -hmm. raising my kids and shit like that. Ah, man, I just, it just, I, anybody, anybody thinking that, man, please seek help. Go to a neighbor, go to a friend, go to somebody and just talk. Just let it out. Cry, let it out. Crying and letting shit out is the best, the best shit for to get over shit. Let it out. Let somebody, but let it out to somebody so a caring person can hug you and talk to you and encourage you. That's not it. What help can I do for you? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, that's what I got to say to a lot of the people, man, for Say Cheese, the audience, man, and the fans out there, man. But support your boy, man, because I support y'all, man. 
it, yeah. any way I can, man. If I knew, if one of y'all was Franklin, I'll be supporting you. I'll follow you. I'll be supporting you, pushing you, and everything like that, man. So that's what I have to say, man, is just support me, man. That's all I ask, man. I got a YouTube. Hopefully, you know, Sean can put it up to YouTube. Oh, my, I definitely my, will. My Instagram and all that shit. It's just Sean Fontino with, with everything. So, uh, Instagram is solo118. I don't know why Instagram give me such a hard problem with taking that solo 118 and putting Sean Fontino, the real Sean Fontino, then people will recognize me a little more, but it's crazy. They just want me to be stuck with solo 118. Solo 118 come from my street shit, man. That's solo from 118th Street East Coast Crip. And I'm trying mm. to separate myself from that. that you know that's crazy. Saying? Rockstar wouldn't reach out to Instagram for they, you. They was trying. They was trying to make it happen, man. And it's, it's more to it, bro. These motherfuckers just would not do it. I done reached out, please. I want to take this off of my name, man. You know what I mean? I want to separate myself from my old ways and my old days. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be, I just want to be Sean Fontino. You know, you can just put Sean Solo Fontino. Whatever they chose to let me do. Cause I guess because I'm verified now and it's so strict now, they think that somebody's trying to change and steal the yep. name to change it. So I, I figure it out though. I'm gonna get to the bottom. I just ain't been putting a lot of energy into it. But yeah, man, um, I appreciate you, dog, for having me, you know, calling me back, man. I watch your shit all the time, man. man. <laughs> um, what's the dude name that be having me dying, man? But oh, he Charleston be, White. He be, he be speaking that <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> You, I got to I got to get y'all together, man. That would be a crazy collab podcast on my new podcast. I got to bring y'all together. Hey, man, that nigga, man, he talked that shit. Niggas can say what they want to say about that dude, man. That nigga called the police. He'd spray you with mace and shit, man. But he he spit that shit, man. That man been here before, man. He been here before, bro. Trust me. And he been here before as a knowledgeable person, bro, because he mm -hmm. knows some shit. And what he be saying be real shit. He might come off harsh and he might come out uneasy with some people just don't like it because I wasn't liking his ass when I first when he first started hitting the scene. I was like, when somebody going to knock this motherfucker's <laughs> teeth out of his mouth, man? When is somebody going to flip him upside down, throw him in the trash can, little ass nigga? But now... I like, I understand him. Sometimes I listen to his words, man, and it, it's set in my heart. And it's set right sometime. And I'll be like, damn, he not so bad after fucking hard. You know what I'm saying? So And what's crazy when you meet him, he's he's a student. Like he listens. He's like a fly on the wall. He soaks up knowledge. Like sometimes he'll call me and tell me, hey, Sean, read this book. Like yeah. he he's not, he's super disrespectful online because he knows. The youth love negativity. Yeah, yeah. So if he comes out being yeah. disrespectful, he he knows he's going to get their attention, and then he's going to give them a message when they when he gets their attention. Yeah, that's what I get from him, bro. He's smart. He's smart. He's sharp, bro. Trust me. Like I say, he been here before. He's sharp. Yeah, that that'll be a crazy collab, man. Um, oh. But hey, I appreciate it. I'm definitely going to ring your line about the meet and greet too, like ASAP. 